What's up guys and welcome to Hari's Hobbies, the channel where we discuss the latest tech news and delve into the newest tech products. Today, we're taking at the 1180 which is coming out very soon and how its performance is going to be absolutely insane. But before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you want to be updated with the latest tech news related to gaming and PCs. So, what exactly happened and when is this new GPU coming out? Even though Nvidia didn't tell us anything about the new series of GPUs at GTC, Gamer Nexus was actually able to get in contact with SK Highness, who is the memory producer for Nvidia and produces their like GDDR5 memory. And what SK Highness told Gamer Nexus was that they are bound to start mass production of GDDR6 memory in just three months. And why else would SK Highness begin their mass production unless Nvidia needed it? So this is where the speculation originates from. Also, this coincides with what Tom's Hardware suggested just a few weeks ago about the release of the new series of GPUs from Nvidia. That's why we are thinking that this new series is going to come soon. So what about the performance? How is it going to perform? Well obviously Nvidia didn't even tell us when it was going to come out and so Nvidia hasn't really dropped any clues about its performance and there really hasn't been any leaks or rumors. But what we can do is that we can safely assume that its performance is going to match last generation's gap. So for example, last generation the 1060 was equal with the 980 more or less. And so this generation the 1160 should be more or less equal with the 1080. Also, last generation two 980s in SLI was about equal with the 1180. In some games, the two 980s did better, and in some games, the 1080 did better, depending on how optimized the game was for SLI. So this generation, I think we can safely assume that the 1180 will be about the performance of two 1080s in SLI. In some games, the 1080s in SLI would do better, and in some games, the 1180s should do better. Also, the 1180 would be the much superior choice to two 1080s, because obviously it would provide more value because it wouldn't be like $1,600 and games wouldn't need to specifically be optimized for it because it's only one graphics card. So that's pretty much what we're looking at for performance. We don't really know anything, but we can assume or safely predict that it's gonna be the same generational gap as last time. And that's actually been a, gonna be absolutely awesome. Imagine a mid-tier card like the 1160, which is gonna cost around 200 to $300, yet it's gonna perform the same as the 1080. And so this is obviously going to be a great new introduction and going to offer much more value and performance for the mid-level user as well as the high-end user. So when exactly are these new GPUs going to come out? Well, considering that SK Highness has told us that they're going to start production of GDDR6 memory in July, I think we can safely assume that this new series is going to be coming out at the end of summer as in August or September. But Nvidia likes to stagger their releases. So I think the 1170 and 1180 will probably come out at the end of summer and the 1150 and 1160 will come out at the end of the year and other variants like the 1150 Ti and 1180 Ti will come out sometime next year. So that's what the release schedule for Nvidia looks like. So the performance looks great and it's coming out pretty soon. But what about the price? Well, in the lower level cards, the price shouldn't actually be that bad. Let's say that 1060 was about $200, $250 at release. The 1160, we're probably looking at about $250 to $300 because of the GDDR6 memory, which is more expensive than GDDR5 memory. If you assume that GPU price is stabilized and the mining craze is over. However, the higher level cards are actually gonna be more expensive than what last generation came out for. Like last generation, the 1080, the MSRP was $599. But this generation, the 1180 could be looking at $699 or even higher, $800 to $1,000. Well, if you didn't know already, just a one month ago, it was suggested that the 1180 was actually going to cost $1,500 because the reasoning was that Nvidia wouldn't want to release a new generation card that was cheaper than a current generation card. For example, it was argued that Nvidia wouldn't want to place the 1180 in a situation where the 1080 which provides less performance than the 1180 to be more expensive. And since the 1080 Ti's and 1080's are really expensive right now, as in like $1,000 to $1,200, it's 
it was expected that the 1180 was going to be even more. Well, first of all, these new GPUs are going to implement GDDR6 memory, and GDDR6 memory is expected to be 20% more expensive than what GDDR5 memory was at launch. However, GDDR6 memory does provide twice the performance of GDDR5, and so I do think it's worth the extra price, but even then, it is increasing the price. On top of this, I do think there is some truth to Nvidia not wanting their current generation cards to be more expensive than new generation cards. By the time that these new cards come out, I do think that the 1080 and 1080 Ti's will heavily drop from their current prices at over $1000 into like maybe the $600 to $800 range or even MSRP if RAM situation works out. But even then, GPU prices will continue to be at least a little inflated. And so I do think that the 1180 is going to be more expensive than $600 at least. And the thing is, the 1180 is providing so much performance that even if Nvidia bumps up the price by $100 or $200, their value per dollar is actually better. So for the people who care about value per dollar, they're still going to go out and buy it. But for the people who are on budget oriented and really care about what the final price of the graphics card is, it's going to really affect them. And even if they're looking at a lower level card, it's still gonna be more expensive than last generation. And the worst thing is, is that Nvidia really has no competition from AMD, and so people don't have an alternative. So the people who want that much performance, and it is a reasonable price, it's not that it's not a reasonable price, it's just that compared to last generation, it's more expensive for the flagship. So the people who want that performance, they would see it as reasonably priced and would buy it. And as a result, Nvidia would still get a lot of sales and make more money when compared to if they priced it cheaper. So as a result, I think Nvidia's new series is going to be more expensive across the board due to no competition, inflated GPU prices, and GDDR6 memory. But despite that, the performance is still really great and the value per dollar is actually much better. So I recommend that you guys still consider buying these new GPUs even if it's a bit out of your range. Maybe by waiting a little bit longer and or waiting for the deals coming out on Black Friday or Christmas. So, what exactly happened? Well, SK Highness told Gamers Nexus that there was going to be a mass production of GDDR6 that's starting very soon. And so we're assuming that this is what's going to be going to be used in Nvidia, and as a result, we assume that the new generation of GPUs are going to be coming out very soon. And using last generational gaps, this generation should have really great performance and since it's using GDDR6 memory, and as a result, the new series should perform much better when compared to last generation. Unfortunately, however, the new generation is going to be more expensive to a variety of reasons, and so it may be out of reach for some of you guys. But a plus with the new generation is that once the new generation comes out, current generation 10 series cards are actually going to drop more in price, and so you guys may be able to afford a higher level card there. So let's say you wanted to buy a 1060, then after this release, you guys may even be able to afford the 1070 due to the price drop. So make sure to consider that too when you guys are thinking about buying GPU now or to wait for it. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys this time. Make sure to post in the comments down below what you guys think about this. For example, do you think that it's about time for Nvidia to come out with this new generation? And what do you think about AMD? Or do you think they're gonna kill it with Navi or do you really think that they don't know what they're doing and they're just stuck? Make sure to post down in the comments below what you think because I do read all my comments and I'm curious as to what you guys think so make sure to post your thoughts. Also, if you guys like this video then make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe if you would like to see more videos just like this one. But until next time, bye.